What's up to all my sneaker fiends out there? It's your boy Vic with the kicks, AKA Mr. Sneaker Fiend. Shout it and I'm back with another review for y'all. So, man, today, what do we have here? What do we have here? Woo! These Georgetown threes. Man, look at these babies right here. Many things so nice. Man, but listen, tell me, I want everyone to comment down below. Let me know if you took a W on the Georgetown threes or either the Midnight Navies, whatever you want to call them. Man, I know myself personally, I did not take any W's on the sneakers app or any, on any of the foot sites except for the uh, raffles that was earlier this week. So I know I actually hit uh, the size six on finish line and I actually hit a size five and a half on foot locker. And that's, man, I don't never even really hit on the foot sites like that on the foot locker. So that was shocking to me. So I actually had to travel to, um, the mall up there in Orangeburg, uh, the Prince of Orange um, Mall. So like I said, man, I wanted to make sure I can go ahead and do it. So for one, I can get, actually make sure I'm getting those flex points up so I can continue to build up my flex uh, app. But also too, man, just to continue to network, 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 that's very key, right? But without further ado, team, if before we get into this video, please make sure you hit that like button, make sure you hit the subscribe button, and also make sure that you smash that notification bell, okay, team, because that way you can be alerted anytime that I drop a video and stay in the know with the latest kicks that's coming out. But like I say, we have here the Midnight Navies, Midnight Navies. So both of these are grade school pairs. And as you see, team, like the, um, each pair, both all of them, they come with the lace bag, right, on the threes. And, you know, the threes really don't get the lace bags too much like that. I think the last time the threes that I remember got the lace bag was on the uh the fire red threes right and also to the uh animal instinct threes i think they had the separate laces for the yellow bag if i am mistaken matter of fact i see my boy mike rich uh i think on his ig today he was talking about he couldn't rate the uh to break out his animal instincts and put the yellow laces in the bad boys but uh yeah man um tell me tell me what do y'all think what are your thoughts about the georgetown threes me personally i was so dang on mad that i took an l man because I think this shoe was a shoe that's a sleeper. You know what I mean? I think a lot of people today thought it was going to be super easy to get, right? Kind of like the, uh, what, what were them last threes that came out? Like the cool gray threes. But these, man, I, 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 I thought all week long that this was going to be a harder shoe to get. You know, maybe if you were bought out there and you was able to go ahead and buy a lot of pairs, pretty sure you guys was able to take the Ws. But as far as just manual game, you know what I mean? It, it was hard, man. I actually... When I, when I went to the uh, the Prince of Orange Mall up there in Orangeburg, uh, I went to the Hibbit store next door, and they actually had a few pairs left in there, but some some kind of like local rapper guy, he walked in there, and um, he had, had a 10 and a half, but I think they probably had a pair for him already to the side or something, man. And then I asked the lady, I said, y'all got any more? Y'all got a nine and a half? You know what I'm saying? She was like, nah, they ain't got any nines or nine and a halves. They got number the 12 left. I was like, dang. You know what I mean? But... Let me just point out a few a few differences between the grade school pairs and the men's, right? So, one thing right away, if you see on, on, on the tongue, right? A lot of the reviews that I've been seeing on YouTube thus far, they're talking about how you can't see like the, the blue, the midnight navy blue on the tongue, right? Nike has been doing a better job than hearing our thoughts, so they made it kind of like trimmed a little bit, trimmed it back a little bit so you can only just see the gray in the front. Now, if you can see this closely as the way I can, uh, on the grade school pairs, it's not like that. The grade school, you can still see a little bit of trim, but I don't think it's I don't think it's that bad. Then right here on the back, hit them on that boot head, on that booty right there, <laughs> on that on the back back here, man, on the butt, you got the uh, you got the Air Jordan symbol, right? Um, versus the Nike, you know what I mean? Of course, you got the elephant elephant print right here around the toe box, and also on the back, right? You got the white, you got the white laces, man. I just think these are so cold. That's why I really wanted a personal pair, man. So if I can't hit on a restock or something like that, man, between like tomorrow, you know what I mean? Or like, or this upcoming week, then it might, it might be old. But honestly, man, I'm really thinking about just going ahead and spending an extra little 40 to $50 and cut these for a uh, resale. You know what I mean? Cause especially now with uh, Georgetown being, um, uh, what they, I think, uh, are they in the finals right now, I believe? I think they're in the finals or whatever, but of course, I mean, just imagine if they mess around and win. I think these shoes would be able to kind of skyrocket. They may not go to like 
five or six hundred dollars, but I could easily see, especially for the men's pairs, right? I know right now on StockX they kind of got them for like 250, 260 range. You know, that could easily I could see go to like 350, maybe 400 at the tops. Um, grade school pairs right now, I know they're going for about around 180 range, 180, high 180s, 187. So I could easily see these going to maybe like a 250. You know what I mean? Maybe 260, 270 at the max. That's, but that's if they was able to pull it off now. So shout out to all the Georgetown players, man. But yeah, man, I just wanted to bring another review to you all, man, so y'all can see it too, man. And if you can see close to this, this leather, that leather is so buttery, man. You know what I mean? That leather is just so soft, you know. I just like the way that way that, that, that leather feel, man. I mean, and then too, you can bust so many different fits with this. I mean, of course, you can always rock the jersey. You know, if you didn't want to rock the jersey with it, you can always wear a pair of uh, white jeans with this, man. You know what I mean? Have on a nice shirt, bring it out. Because I really think white jeans will do this justice, right? You can always wear it with some like gray stone wash jeans. Don't get me wrong, they still freak these things out. You know what I'm saying? Big drip with them. But I, I really think you hit, you hit, you hit them with that white jeans. Oh, yeah. Them white jeans, man, you're going to be you dripping sauce. <laughs> dripping sauce everywhere you go, man. I'm telling you, man, these is hard. These is going to be one of them sleepers for 2021. Mark my words. I think this is going to be a sleeper shoe, man, because it's just nice. You know what I mean? A lot of people, I know they don't like them threes like that, but I think they're I think they all right. You know what I mean? Me personally, I don't, I don't care for the threes the best. They ain't my favorite silhouette of the Jordans, but I do think they still pretty nice, man. You hear my son probably back there. Yelling or something, I don't know what he's doing. He's probably watching Ninja Turtles or something. But no, man, seriously, like, I really think this shoe is going to be one of them sleepers that, you know, people kind of going to look back and be like, dang. Because I was even watching my man Roscoe earlier today, too. I know he was trying to go for him. You know what I mean? I think he was going for the Yeezys, too. I actually even went for the Yeezys, but I couldn't even cop, man. I mean, down here in South Carolina, man, it'd be hard, man. So wasn't able to take no W on that, but at least I did get two W's though today or whatever. You know, of course it's not my size, but hey, you know, if anybody need need a need these grade school pairs, man, just hit me up. <clears throat> Wifey, she like them. <clears throat> she at first she was saying she don't know if she like them. She think it look boys, so they gonna be looking too wide on her feet and all that there. You know, and then I was like, all right, wait till you see them. Wait till you see these guys. You know what I'm saying? Now she's seeing, she like, they all right, they kind of cute, you know. <laughs> You know, how, you know how they be switching up, man. But no, nah, this uh, no, nah, man. But these Georgetown threes, though, like I said, I think these is hard, man. Like I say, if you're new to this channel, please make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Please make sure you also too hit the subscribe button that's below. Make sure you hit that notification bell so that way you can be alerted anytime that I drop a video. Also, too, also please make sure that you go follow me on Instagram. Um, on my Instagram is at the Sneaker Fiends. Um, at the sneaker fiends right on Instagram, you know anytime if you want to uh, Find out any latest news on shoes if you just need help right because I want to actually say shout out to one of my subscribers Shout out to Michael Michael. I appreciate you brother. I Michael one of my subscribers He's seen the last video for the UNC ones um, that I was able to pick up And he was just telling me how he been trying to get his pair but where he located man like he had a hard time So I told him I said, you know what I tell you what I know they about to re-release this week coming up I put in for your side, man, just for real. Just because I want to let my subscribers know that I really do, you know, thank each and every one of you for even watching my video. You know what I mean? As a content creator, it's hard enough to really try to press, you know, win these raffles, get these shoes, hurry up and get back home, try to deliver on this content, make a video worthwhile watching for you all. You know what I mean? So, I and just for somebody to subscribe to my channel, you know what I mean? And inbox me let me know like hey what do you think about this you know me and him share advice and stuff or whatever so i just want to say to all my subscribers out there if you ever have any questions around sneakers you don't know like hey should i buy from this page or whatever the case may be hit me up dm me you know what i mean typically i try to respond to my dms very quickly you know at least within the same day but if not at least at the most i say 24 to 48 hours because i do work a lot um you know what i mean but yeah make sure you make sure you follow me on their team because a lot of times I do like that whenever I see any new information come out around shoes, that's the first place that I'm going to post it at just because I can get the content up a lot quicker than I can when I'm having to make my YouTube video. So, like I say, man, just let me know if you took a W today. Comment down below. 
Also, please let me know what you think about the Georgetown, Georgetown threes or either the uh, Midnight Navy threes. Let me know. But yeah, we out.